Today is January 19th and I am Roman Leonato speaking from the Ashram for Unfoldment and I bring like every day the message for the day. Today the message is, the title of the message is, there are egos and egos. We start with the ego, we let it be itself, free as a bird. Now, this is a very important concept of what we teach, which is be yourself, free to be. From silence we come and to silence we arrive. Have we moved from point zero in an elliptical way to point zero? Or have we remained in this same departure arrival all along? What felt like a journey or a movement resembles the state of children on the beach, undressing, opening themselves to the sun and the salty sea air, transported out of the world without moving from the sun, united in the building of a castle, forgetting themselves as they search for the seaweed and the shells that will adorn the battlements. The state of grace is not something that can be easily expressed. To a blind man, you can describe what a rose is like. He can touch it, feel it, intuit perhaps what color it is, but he will only know what a rose is if in his memory is the reflection of the flower he could see one day. So as we are um, building towards uh, becoming love in this uh, practice that we have for every day, we are going um, to start today to understand what is the individualized mind, the ego. The ego, the individualized mind, the human soul is different to the little eye, which is just a part, we could say it's a part of the ego, or the grossest part of the ego. But the ego in reality is what human soul is. Man does not have an ego, man is the ego. The real value of life is just to be. Be yourself, that's all you have to do. Just be yourself, natural, normal, ordinary, Aren't we all just ordinary people? Now, this is another very important point of our teachings, of what we teach. Which is, which is that we don't teach people to be like, I don't know, like Christ or like Krishna or like me, or you have to dress like this, or you have to behave like that, or these are the rules that you have to follow, or this is the diet that you have to follow, or this or that or the other. You have, be, you have to be some way. We just say, be yourself. Be your natural, normal, ordinary self. The problem is, the idea we make of ourselves, the idea we make of ourselves that we should be something else that we are not. That is what brings the problem, or the idea we have of ourselves is what creates the problem. Remember that the ego in itself is not bad. The ego has a dense aspect, but it also has a finer aspect. So accepting the ego by itself, for itself, with itself, means that you use the finer aspect of the ego to overcome the dense aspects of the ego. The subtle aspects of the ego can be compared to a fine silk cloth, while the denser ones are like burlap. So, When you decide to yourself, I do not need to keep the idea of myself, then you find freedom. So this is the practice for today. 
it's very simple. Don't keep an idea of yourself. Don't think about how yourself is. Just be yourself today. It's only one day. It's just for one day. You can do it. Be yourself. Let yourself go. Let go. Con connecting, I mean, remember, meditate in the morning, meditate in the evening. Be connected to the real self, the finer aspects of the ego, and let go of yourself without having an idea of how you are or, or of what you are. Just for today, try it. It's only one day. Tomorrow will be another practice. And thank you very much for listening and have a very beautiful day today. Namaste.